Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Nina Ribena's Art Journal Prompts and More. It's April and the prompt this month is spring and we're on week three. Now I've been trying to create some abstract um, tulips and I just absolutely love these. I've got my alcohol inks out again. Now I know they don't look very much like tulips but I just absolutely love these all the same. So I'm going to show you how I did these. For those of you that don't have alcohol inks, don't fret, I'm going to show you how to do an alternative um, in Sharpie markers so I've done these as well I know that um, you know you don't get quite the same effect but you know I think these are really pretty all the same so let me just run through the supplies you'll need now I'm going to be working on the reverse side of quality photo paper um, there are two brands that I've got that work an absolute treat there's this one here which is Fujifilm and it's multi-jet inkjet paper this one is 200 110 GSM it doesn't say what it is in pound weight um, but this one works an absolute treat I use the reverse side the um, top side of photo paper has got um, a coating and alcohol inks just won't spread so you need to use the the reverse side of it so there's this one here Fujifilm and of course my favorite that you've all heard me talk about before is Kirkland Signature professional glossy inkjet photo paper this one here is 68 pound 250 50, uh, 5 GSM. Um, this one is much thicker and again I just use the reverse side. This one I get from Costco but I do believe you can now buy this on Amazon as well and of course if you've got Upo paper you can um, use that. This is my Upo alternative just because it's much much cheaper. So this is what it looks like. I've cut this down to six inches by four inches which is postcard size and I don't know whether you can pick this up. This is the front so the side that you would print your photographs out on and that's the back and it's got sort of like a plasticky finish um, and that's what the side that I will be using and that is just very very similar to Upo paper. Now let me just tell you not all um, copy of pa photo papers will work for this. The cheap stuff from the pound shop doesn't work because it's got a paperback and I also picked some um, W8 Smith's um, uh, photo paper up from a charity shop for a pound and that doesn't work either that's also got a paper backing so be careful if you're going to go out and buy it I would recommend that you choose one of the two brands that um, I showed you a second ago. So let's try this I'm going to be using three colours for my tulips today I'm going to start off with a light pink which is called pink sherbet these are the ranger alcohol inks I'm also going to be using watermelon which is sort of like um, a, a red on the orangey side and I'm also going to use raspberry as well and you will need um, a couple of straws if you're going to do this as well I've got a fat one and a slightly thinner thinner one um, and as I say using the reverse side and what I'm going to do is just put a line in the middle like that and blow and I'm going to tilt it and do another one sort of going up like that trying to sort of get that um, tulip shape it won't look anything like a tulip but these are just so gorgeous there we are, so that's the lighter one and I'm going to do the same with the watermelon. This time just apply my ink just slightly higher up just so that it doesn't bleed down below. Whoops, move that out of the way. Why does nothing ever work on camera? You always have an accident. Well I always do anyway. <laughs> I really like that effect actually and these will do their own thing and that's just what's so nice about them. I just love that and I think we'll have another one just here. You really don't need very very much of this. There we go and then you'll need some alcohol blending solution or IPA. I'm using the alcohol blending solution because it's got that um, fine tip and I'm just going to apply some of the blending solution just below where I've been applying the ink. And just look, it creates a gorgeous, gorgeous um, watercolour effect. So I'm going to leave that be now and I'm going to zap this with my heat tool to stop it spreading any further. Now when you're drying photo paper um, with your heat tool, be really, really careful. Don't hold it in one place for too long and don't hold it too close because it blisters and bubbles really, really easily. So a hairdryer um, is better for this. I should have gone and um, grabbed mine, but, but there we go. So now I just want to add the um, stem and stalk. 
and I'm going to be using paint brushes to do this. I have not had any success by sort of applying the ink um, directly to the page because it just spreads out too much all over the place. So I'm going to be using some lettuce um, and I'm going to put a little drop in the well of my palette here. You don't need very much at all, so just um, a drop. And I've got two paint brushes here, one that I've been using for green and one that um, I've been using just to spread the red on my um, Sharpie pages. And what I am going to do, get my straw at the ready, I'm just going to apply some of the ink just here like this. And I'm going to blow just using my small straw um, this time because I don't want it to um, travel quite so far. There we go. I'm going to blow again. And this side, twilt it up, twisting it. And I just love that. Isn't that pretty? And you can add just a, a little bit more, um, just to add some patterning because, of course, you get sort of all these lovely bubbles and textures, and I just love that. Don't overdo it. Just, you know, as soon as you're happy with the look, stop. There we go. I'm happy with that. Um, and then what I want to do is I've got a Pro Marker pen, a Letraset Pro Marker pen. This is an alcohol pen, and the colour of this one is moss. And I'm just going to draw on my stem. So, where, how do I want that to go? There we are, like that. And I just think that's ever so pretty. I just think that's really, really gorgeous. And you can go over that a second time, just lightly over the top, because again, you get lovely texture because they bleed inside of one another, which I really, really like. How pretty is that? And I'm going to add a leaf. Um, and how do I want that to go? And I'm going to blow slightly again. Just being really careful with this because I want it sort of abstract, but you know, I do want that leaf shape. And I just think that's gorgeous, and I think I'm happy with that, and I am going to leave it be. One word of advice when you're doing this, you know, <laughs> when you're happy with it, stop, because you'll end up spoiling it otherwise. And if you've got anything that you don't like, like this area of pink here, um, I want to get rid of that. It's ever so easy to blot it away. Just apply a tiny bit of blending solution to a baby wipe or paper towel, and just blot it away. And like magic, there we go, gone. I love that. Of course, you could use um, a cotton bud as well to do that. So let's have a go at doing one with a Sharpie marker. I'm going to try and do that tulip um, shape. And you're going to think that I've gone stark raving mad. Um, I know this will look nothing like a tulip and it doesn't matter. Do not fret about it. You do not have to be any kind of budding artist here. Um, so I've got that and now I'm going to colour it in in the lighter pink. So I've just used two different colours of pink here. Let me just put the lid on so that you can see. Um, just from a regular pack of Sharpies. So I'm just going to loosely colour this in and, you know, this is kids scribble. You do not have to be neat about this at all. There we are. And then I want to introduce some yellow as well. So I've just got um, a yellow colour here. And I just want to apply some at the, at the tip here. As I say, just being really, really scribbly about this. There we are. And then I've got another paintbrush here. Um, and I'm just going to apply some blending solution to the well of my palette. There we are. In fact, I probably need a bit more than that. You could use isopropyl alcohol or even surgical spirits for this. And we're just going to blend it out. And this is where the magic starts to happen. Just look. And you can just, you know, play with this until you're happy with the shape that you've you've got. So my challenge is 
Get some either Yupo or photo paper if you've got some and your Sharpie markers and give this a try. I'd be interesting to see what interesting shapes and flowers you can all um, come up with. I just love that. Isn't that pretty? Now, stop there, Nina, before you spoil it. I'm going to do the same thing. I've got my straw at the ready and I'm going to apply some blending solution just to the bottom, just there and blow and just look how pretty that is I just think that is gorgeous um, so we'll do the same thing um, we'll give that a zap with the heat tool to stop it spreading and I want to do the same thing with the stalk and I've got this <coughs> excuse me I've got a frog in my throat I've got this medium green pen and what I'm going to do is apply it to the well here make sure that um, you put plenty of ink down there we go scribble 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 <coughs> And then apply some blending solution to make it into um, a liquid. Not too much because you'll dilute it um, too much. And I hope I haven't done that here. <clears throat> and then you are just going to apply it to the base of your flower in the same way. There we are. We can blow with the straw. Try and manipulate it to where you want it to go. There we are. And when you've got something that you're happy with, stop um, because you'll just spoil it otherwise. There we go. That's what I was after. So again, I'm going to zap this with the heat tool to stop it spreading. I'm just going to get rid of that little bit of pink there. There we are. And then we can add a stem. So I'm going to turn my paper on its side. And you just want a loose, scribbly line like that. I just think that's gorgeous. And then, of course, we can do the same thing um, with the leaves. Bring back our paintbrush. I'll do the leaf on this side um, this time. And again, we're just going to try and manipulate um, that shape. Um, where's my straw? I just love that featheriness that you get um, by blowing through the straw and then of course you can add some detail just by going over it because the ink of course reactivates and if you blow it in between it'll just heat set whatever you've got and then you can go over it um, again if you if you want to and just keep playing until you get something that you're happy with and as soon as you've reached that point stop now I want to go over my uh, stem with a lighter green so I've got this sort of fluorescent type green here and I'm just going to go over it there we are and if I'm very very careful I can add some more of the blending solution and I can just add a very, very fine line of the alcohol. Let me just... Um... There we go. I just think that's beautiful. I think that's so pretty. And in fact, I was going to wipe this off and I just love that. Let's just try and straighten that out. It's a bit noblier than I would like it to, to be. So there we go. I just think that's gorgeous. So here's my finished artwork. And I know that I didn't end up with tulips. I ended up with roses. But I just love how these turned out. And I really do hope that you'll give this a go. The only one that I managed to um, get looking vaguely like a tulip was, was this one here. Um, I suppose I could have done the same thing with it with this one but I just think it looks more like a rose so let me just move those out of the way so that was my tulip um, again this was done with 
Sharpie marker. So let me just run through all of the ones that I've done. So there we go. These are the ones that were done with Sharpies. I had a go at that one there, this one here. Um, and then these are all the ones that I've done with alcohol inks. And I just think these are just beautiful. I mean, they're clearly roses and I'm absolutely happy with that. I'm fine with that. They're just, they're just gorgeous. And I've also had a go at doing a couple in larger, um, a four size. Um, let me just move my camera. Here we go. That just about fits on. So I did this one here and I just love that. And in fact, actually I've done one of these and I've had it fr uh, framed for a friend for her birthday. And I'll leave a close up at the end because it just looked beautiful in a frame. Um, and then there was this one here too. So I will come back at some stage um, early next week probably and show you what I've done with these. I'll have a go at, at mounting these and maybe mounting them on watercolour. Haven't got time to do it now but um, I will share what I end up doing with these. But I just think they're beautiful and I really do hope that everyone will give this a try and try it with sharpers if you don't have um, alcohol inks. I just think those are so pretty. Aren't those pretty? They're gorgeous. So if you like that and if you enjoyed this video I would really appreciate a thumbs up because as I always say it just lets YouTube know that you like what I'm doing and let me know what you think in the comments below and I look forward to seeing what everybody else decides to come up with for week three of the spring prompt. Anyway take care everyone and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.